Hey everyone, my name is Joe Barnard and welcome to the new series from BPS.Space called Landing Model Rockets. Uh, you might guess it's about model rockets and it's about landing them too. So in this video, episode zero, we are going to cover the topics that will be covered in the series. We're going to talk about the structure of the series as a whole and how you can get involved. So let's get started. All right, so welcome to episode zero of Landing Model Rockets. Um, before we get started, a little bit of background. So I have been building these model rockets for a few years now. I have taught myself all of this stuff on my own, and I've been learning a lot. Um, and all of the social channels for BPS.Space so far have existed mostly to showcase my work. Uh, not so much teach people how to do it so much as just put it out there and say, hey, look at this thing. Um, and I'd kind of like to turn that around a little bit. So uh, landing model rockets is mostly about um, teaching people how to go through the steps uh, to do this really, really hard thing. Um, so, okay, that's the background. Next, let's cover the topics that we're gonna cover in the series. So there are a bunch of them. I have to read them off of this paper because I can't remember them off the top of my head. Um, we've got uh, videos coming out individually on motor choices, simulation, thrust vector control, flight computer design, that's like PCB design, routing schematics, stuff like that at least two videos, maybe three, on flight software, because that is really complicated. Um, launch pads, grid fins, and why they don't work, uh, at least at this scale, and a bunch of other stuff. So that is, those are the topics that we're covering. Now, as the series progresses, I kind of anticipate that the videos will go from being detailed discussions of one single subject to uh, more general updates uh, for the BPS project. So I'm already well underway with my attempt at landing a model rocket. I actually don't know how close I really am, um, but as these two sort of series and real life converge, we'll sort of see the series change and do a different thing. But there are tons of things to cover first. All right, um, next up, so videos are gonna come out once every two weeks. Um, I would like to try to hit like once every week and a half, but the priority here is quality over quantity or speed. Um, so I want these to be pretty high quality explanations of what's going on and pretty in depth. I'm also gonna try to keep all of these videos roughly in order so that if you were to follow along chronologically, it would make sense. And what I'm really talking about is you can't write all the flight software before you have a flight computer to put it on. That's the kind of order I'm talking about. Okay, so next up, uh, I'm pretty excited about this part. As each video comes out, as, as the series progresses, I'm gonna be releasing the relevant files to the current video on the BPS Patreon. So for example, let's say there's a video that comes out on landing legs for the rocket. Uh, when the video comes out, those files, those 3D printable files will be available on the BPS Patreon. So like, we'll do a video about grid fins and some grid fins will be available. Once again, even though they don't work really well at this scale, or like thrust vector control, I'll release the thrust vector control mount files. There's a lot of really valuable stuff that's gonna be available through the Patreon. Now there are some things that I cannot offer through the Patreon. These are things like flight software and all of the really low level code that goes on these flight computers. Um, especially with the flight software, it involves a lot of sort of sensitive code that I'm not totally comfortable uh, sending out into the public. But with that said, if there are things that you would like to see offered either through the Patreon or as a video in general or otherwise really, you can reach out as always in the comments down below. So as a patron of BPS, you'll not only get access to all of these files and materials, you'll also get access to uh, each one of these Landing Rockets episodes a full week before it goes public. Of course, there are other rewards for supporting on Patreon too. We have a Discord chat room. There's a bunch of text and behind the scenes updates. Uh, I'll even provide help if you're building a tricky rocket on a regular schedule. And if you're still here and you're wondering, why is Joe plugging the Patreon so much? Why doesn't he just shut up and build rockets? It's because I wanna build much bigger rockets. So part of the reason with releasing all of this information is that I feel comfortable moving forward and moving up into a bigger scale of rocket. We're talking in the class of thrusty McThrust face and larger. Um, I'm interested in doing some stuff with cold gas jets. I'm interested in doing some work with hybrid engines. Uh, we spoke with a liquid engine company uh, about a month or two ago, and all of these things require uh, a lot more funding. And so that is why I'm plugging all of the Patreon and releasing all of this information for the smaller scale of rockets. And finally, if you wanna watch the first episode, episode one of Landing Model Rockets, it is available now on the Patreon. 
Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you have questions, you can leave them in the comment section down below, and may your skies be blue and your winds be low. Okay, I'll talk to you soon.